A brand new game changing feature just dropped into the Photoshop beta application and that is generative fill. This will change the way creators use Photoshop. Now this is powered by Adobe Firefly, which is our family of generative AI models, which we have trained by utilizing Adobe stock imagery. And this is all openly licensed work. This is literally groundbreaking stuff. And I want to show you some examples of how it works. So we're going to jump right into the Photoshop beta and have a look. Let's go. Okay, so here we are in the Photoshop beta application. For those of you who don't have this downloaded, what you can do is head on over to your Creative Cloud desktop application and notice underneath beta apps, if you click on that, you can go ahead and download the Photoshop beta application. And once you've done that, you can come into the Photoshop beta app, as you can see here. And now we can start using this. Now, I've got a couple of examples here that we're going to go through. And let's start with this one. Here's a lovely shot of my daughters down at a park. Perhaps I want to extend this out, make this more of a landscape shot. So I'm going to grab my crop tool and just extend out from the left. And then we'll go OK. And now what I want to do is get my marquee tool and just select a section, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the section and then make sure I include part of the image. Now, as I'm doing that, notice I got this contextual panel that opens up and places itself in the correct spot where I can start doing things. And as you can see, I've got a number of options here. Uh, if I wanted to, I can modify this selection. So I could select the border, smooth selection out. So I can do a number of things from here. I can also invert the selection, transform the selection. Uh, I can create a mask from this selection and then even an adjustment layer. And then I can, of, of course, fill the selection and we can do content aware fill. Let's actually have a look at that, right? I'm just going to go content aware fill and see what it does. So I'm going to hit OK. Right, there's the content aware fill version because what it's done is it's actually just duplicated it across the selected area. Instead of doing that, let's go generate fill. And I'm not actually gonna type anything in here. And the reason for that is because I've already got a bit of this image selected, right? This little slither over here. So I'm gonna hit generate. This is going to utilize artificial intelligence uh, from our Adobe Firefly family. And it's going to fill it in based on what it thinks should go there. And once we get there, Okay, there we go. Now it gives us three options. So that's the first option. So if I come over to here, you can see there's two more. So if I click on this one, uh, yeah, it looks okay. Click on that one. That looks a little bit better. And I can make adjustments to this. So for example, this, this one here, I might say, well, that's a poor result. Don't like it. And what we're doing is we're giving feedback to let the artificial intelligence know that that wasn't the right result that we wanted. We want something a bit better. And we can do that by uh, going over to this next shot, for example. Uh, didn't like that one either, so I'm gonna go poor. Uh, and then go, if I go to the third one, I do like that one, so that's a good result. But I wanna generate three more variations. So again, I'll hit generate, it might give me something better. And what this will do is it'll keep my original three and generate three more. So here's another one. That's actually very good. I'm happy with that. So we'll go good result. Let's have a look at the next one. That's also very good. So you can see here just with a couple of, oh, that's actually even better. You'll see the little, the tree branches coming off of that. That's fantastic. Love that. I'm gonna like that one. Good result good result okay so you can see how that's pretty good uh, but what about if we wanted to place something into the shot perhaps an animal right what I can do is I can grab a marquee tool here just go like that let's go generative fill and I'm gonna say let's go small dog running you'll notice what I've done is I've just selected an area in the shot where I want to place the dog so I'm gonna hit generate and again we're gonna go through the process and we're gonna get three variations of dogs here. So we could get anything, right? Could be really interesting. What I'm interested to see is how it places the dog on the plane. See if we can get those areas. Okay, that's that's all right, but it's not quite kind of looking the greatest. Oh yeah, okay. 
that's probably a bit better so we like that result and notice how it's given it its own shadow as well that's really interesting i don't think the aspect ratio is quite right but that's okay why don't we actually try and generate another one but i want to maybe put it here let's see how it goes with placing it in this section here so we'll go small dog chasing ball how about that let's go generate notice how these prompts are completely random just seeing what we come up with right oh look at that that's not bad <laughs> it's done a great job that's um interesting it looks like the dog's got one extra leg so that's probably not the greatest result i don't even know if that's a dog but who knows we'll see how we go i don't mind this shot here that's done a great job so if we have a look at this if i come back to here if i just turn the dog off that looks pretty good i'm happy with that so this is a lovely drone photo that i took uh, when i was at hamilton island recently and what i want to do is perhaps change a couple of things in here you know it's, it looks great i don't mind the boat where it is um, but maybe i want to add extra stuff around it right so first and foremost let's go and just remove this boat i know it's controversial isn't it so we'll do that and i actually want to add to this around it and i'll show you what i mean in a second because we might want to create something completely different here gone perfect there's result number one result number two result number three i mean they're all great results right also i want to draw your attention to what it's doing here in the layer stack this is really important this is non-destructive workflows so by turning this off uh i've got the original image there right by turning it back on there's there's my layer layer mask and and how it's been applied which is really fantastic now um, but what I'm going to do is grab this section here and add to that by holding so if you get the marquee tool and then you hold shift you can add to the marquee by doing that which is really powerful way of getting extra selections so I want to generate fill on that one. Okay, that's that's really cool, actually. Um, I'm quite surprised with that result. It's it's added into the foreground as if we were on a mountainside, and in the background there's mountains behind the mountains. If I have a look at some of the other options, it, it's oh that's fantastic. <laughs> It's assuming that I'm up on a mountain top taking the photo, even though it was a drone shot, okay? Hence the trees in the foreground, and then you've got the mountains in the background. That's, that's very cool. I don't know what's going on here. Perhaps it thinks I'm in a helicopter. Love this shot, actually love this shot. So I'm gonna good result that one. All right, uh, the last thing I wanna show you is, this was me in Threadbow having a great time. Uh, just when I walked up the, the mountain. Let's do a couple of changes here. So see this stick? Let's remove that stick. Now we can do it, obviously, as I said earlier, we can content aware it out or we can generate fill that out. Let's just go bang, generate fill. What I love is how quickly I'm doing this sort of stuff. Selecting areas, generating fill. I'm not going through menus to get to where I need to, to find the prompt to do it. It contextually gives me what I need to at that moment in time. So here we go, here's the result, bang, bang. I think I like the third one, that's great. But what about if I wanted to, hey, let's have a bit of fun with this. What about if I wanted to put a coffee shop on the mountain? So I'm gonna go and just select this section here, generate fill, coffee shop with tables and chairs boom okay look at that that's interesting what do we got in the background there let's have a look at this next one it's kind of like a cabana hut type thing yeah that could work okay so let's go with select the subject we're going to go invert now i'm going to go generate fill snow covered mountains looking pretty good um 
looks like I'm really on the mountainside there. So if I click through, oh yeah, that's that's not too, it's a bit, it's got a couple of things going on, but that's not bad. Um, if I like it, I can like it obviously, but I now don't look like I'm in the warmest clothing. So I can actually get my lasso tool here and kind of go around my body. Let's do that really quick. There's my bag. And then go generate fill um, snow jacket generate to make me a little bit more warm. I mean, what's going on there? <laughs> Let's have a look at the second version. That's not bad. Could go with that. Actually, that's a little bit better. Um, it even it even recognized the bag, which is quite interesting. So let's actually click on the hat now and then I'm just going to go around that and go generate fill. Let's go snow beanie. Beanie generate. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know if I like that, but let's go to the next one. <laughs> it's got snow on it. Um, it looks like more like a hat though, doesn't it? Let's try it again and I'll generate something different. Let's go um, black and red beanie. Generate. That's okay, let's just go with this one. We got a beanie. So now uh, I might wanna do something different here and maybe I might need, let's go and do that. I might need snow goggles. Snow goggles? Let's go. they're called snow goggles let's see how we go with this that's some futuristic snow goggles there um, not probably the greatest one but there's another one and there you go from that to that and there you have it generative AI is literally going to be a counterpart to what you're doing as a creative you can see by typing in some simple search fields, you can get some pretty astonishing results and being able to get things done so much faster. By using generative fill in your day-to-day -day work, you literally have an AI creative at your fingertips, helping you generate some incredible creative content. Thanks everyone for watching and if you like what you see here, hit that like button. And if you wanna see more, of course, hit subscribe. And remember, never stop creating.